Guys, it is Thursday, so it is Scooter Brad's custom build day. The man wears glasses inside, so you know he's going to win this custom build off. Finna. Finna SB. Are you excited? What are you talking about wearing sunglasses inside? I'm not wearing them. Brother, you were wearing them in the intro. Nope. We see that you got your deck and your matching t-shirt. How are you feeling? Feeling pretty good. Feeling prepared. Feeling camouflaged. I have the most experience when it comes to the custom builds. I have done a whopping one custom builds. They have done a whopping zero custom builds. So I'm feeling pretty good. I have the upper hand here. But I am going last. So I don't know about that. You guys go on my back, right? Okay, good. I don't know what parts you're going to use since your combination is yellow and red. You got like the McDonald's theme custom build. But uh, I'm really excited to see what you can do, man. You guys aren't ready. Ooh. All right, guys. Time to pick some parts for this beast. All right, all right, all right. Where to start? Where to start? I'm going to ditch this deck first. I'm going to put this down somewhere. I'm going to put it right next to Walter. Hey, Walter. Hey. What do you think? It's not bad. Did you do that yourself? I did. How long did that take you? Maybe like 10 hours. Jesus, you got a lot of time on your hands, mate. I got a lot of time. All right, you hold on to that, Walter. You keep that safe for me. I'm going to pick some parts right now. Well, we're at the clamp, so we might as well get the clamp. You already know, guys. I'm sponsored by Elite, so I got to go for the Elite SCS. I mean, I don't have to, but I'm going to choose to because this is a dope clamp. It comes in matte black, which I'm trying to, you know, match all my other parts to. So we've got the matte black clamp right there. I'm going to set this down. Are these 858 bars? Oh, perfect. They're matte black. They've got carbon up the top. It's gonna go perfect with that. Thanks, Walter. You're Appreciate welcome. it, man. All right, what's next? Uh, headset. I personally ride FSAs predominantly, and I heard that these guys got them in. So, FSA impact. Boom, here it is right here. Let me just check that we have all the components inside. It's looking good, looking nice. What, what is this, Matt? Who's Mans? Who's Mans? Lucky charm looking at. Hmm, there's a lot of forks. Okay, there's no animal forks, which is what I predominantly ride myself. So I think my second best choice is gonna have to be the supremacy fork. So I'm gonna grab the supremacy fork right here. Now these have two different types. There's one that fits 125s and there's one that fits 110s. So personally for me, I am gonna run 110s on my setup because I don't run 120s on any of my scooters. So I'm going with the 110s just so that the wheel fitment looks better with the fork. You guys know what I'm saying. Speaking of the 110s, I think we're gonna grab them out right now and you guys know, tilts, one archer, one jasser. Oh yeah, that's how we do, that's how we do. Bearings, hey, we didn't agree on nothing. No, we agree, we agree. <laughs> he just wants me to use velocity bearings. Oh, velocity plug. Oh, they're right there, duh. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Found them. Oh, and while we're here, actually, let me grab one of these as well. We need grips and we need grip tape. Let's go grip tape first. All right, I got to show off the beauty of my deck. And since Clayton already used the heli grip, I'm going to have to go with the grizzly because I'm not trying to use the same parts as my homie, you know? So we got the, the grizzly grip tape. It's clear, looks white, it's not, trust me. Shucks. All right, grippies, grip, 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 grips. I love added grips, and since the vault has them, we got to take them, you know? Oh, yes. I think that's everything. So why don't we uh, head on over to the other room and uh, build this bad boy. What is up, everyone? We're already back. So we're here in the studio about to film the actual building process and we're pretty much just gonna kick right off into this build. I quickly wanted to mention these carbon fades. If you guys saw my last custom build, I did the Y bar type custom uh, carbon fade bars and these are the T bars. The Vault is not actually selling these just yet, but they are gonna be on sale at some point. And these are literally my favorite bars, bar titanium. Favorite bars, bar titanium. <laughs> They come in the T, they come in a Y, and the A58 makes uh, titanium T-bars too, which I have on my personal scooter back there, but we'll get to that in a little bit, okay? Special surprise for you guys coming through. Okay, I do need to change the brakes, so we're gonna get onto that before we do the grip taping, and then it's uh, gonna be just all go from there. So I'm gonna take the brake off, and then we'll get into the gripping. Let's get it. Where's my brake? Corey! Where's my brake? You brought all the parts over. Man didn't bring the brake. Where's the brake? Hey, find the brake, Corey. Oh my God. All right, uh, the brake is in route, apparently. Oh, there it comes. There we go, that was stressing me out. 
Ethic V4 brake, made of plastic, got the aluminium or steel insert, I'm not sure what material it is, but it has like a magnetic base plate and the bolt from underneath. It mounts straight into any Elite deck with a little bit of gouging with an Allen key. It's prime and it's well worth doing, guys, trust me. If you're a weight freak especially, or you don't like a touchy brake, but you still wanna be able to do manuals, but not have like an undialed scooter and yada, 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 this is the brake for you. So you can use pretty much any Allen key and just gouge that hole out. Like, don't, don't be scared to be rough with it because the bolt head's quite big, so. Once you put the bolt in, it's actually fine, but I just pretty much gouge that bad boy out a little bit. You can still run the original brake if you want to. You pretty much just have to gouge it out enough just so that the bolt can just about thread through. There we go. So once you can thread it in, what I usually do is I usually just, there we go, just press it in. <laughs> Takes all that extra metal away. And then we can proceed to fitting a break. This can be a bit of a surgical procedure. Set it on the side, line up the hole, grab your Allen key, and just finish that bad boy off. You don't want to shove it in like too quickly because the magnetic piece on the top of the brake will just, you know, unmagnetize and just bugger off. How long is this thread? I have, I have made a boo-boo. Ugh! That's what happens when it buggers off. This little thing to hold this little bit, keep the pressure on, keep the pressure on. I told you guys, this is a surgical procedure. Bam. All right, now we're gonna grip it. Usually I would grip a deck without the brake on, but because we had to fit the brake separately, I just wanted to get that out of the way first because it's literally the most difficult thing to do on this build. I'm also gonna take this axle out so that it's out of the way, and we're not gonna be using it anyway for the special surprise that I have coming for you guys. Stay tuned. Keep those spaces for later. If you thought you'd seen a ghetto way of cutting grip tape, you haven't seen nothing yet. I hope that's 4.8 wide. Oh, it might be. Is this how it's done? I've never done this. I guess it's working. Oh, it looks so good. So I think the grip tape is pretty much done. It does need a few more touch-ups. I'm gonna start rolling it again once it's completely built just to get rid of a few more bubbles. But guys, you can't tell me that that doesn't look freaking insane. Let's put some more parts on this beast. Gonna take these FSA bearings, slap it right on the fork, chuck that fork right up inside that deck, grab this one on the top there, and instead of running the FSA top cap, what I usually do on my scooter is I run FSA bearings, but I don't run the top cap because, let me explain this to you, the bottom of the Elite clamp is quite, stop it, stop interrupting me. The bottom of the Elite clamp is quite fat and it goes perfectly with the Root Toll Stack headset. I have a Root Toll Stack on my scooter and we're gonna switch it up a little bit more and put a few colored spaces on here too because the fork tube is evidently very long. Just ditch these bearings to the side. They can kind of end up somewhere else. I might use these paper thins though just for extra clearance. You guys know what's up, gotta be safe. Bam, and you guys are not ready for this. We got spaces. I think I'm gonna pick one red and one gold and fit them on there just above the tall stack and hopefully it will still be good so we can put the clamp on and just compress that bad boy. Bam, gold, red, clamp. Oh, that one's upside down, let's fix that. Grab my M8 bolt and my top cap. Where is my top cap? It's right here, I found it. Gonna tighten up my compression so that my scooter is dialed. All right, perfect. Now, I'm gonna put the wheels on and you guys know we got the Mitch Ma Mitch Mitch matching colored wheels. Hmm. I say yellow on the front. You read my mind. This bad boy's going on the front. And now we have the third and final, I think that's the third surprise. We've got another surprise for you people, all right? What I'm gonna be giving to you today is my own personal Apex Banane pegs. So the pegs that I've been riding for the last, God only knows how long, these are gonna be on your brand new scooter. Now you might not like pegs. You might like pegs. Hopefully you do if you're gonna buy this build. But uh, these are my own very personal used pegs. These have been around the world. These have been to many different countries. I'm gonna put the two reds on the front, chuck the two blacks in the back, and it's gonna look so bomb, dude. And you're gonna be riding Scooter Brad's very own personal pegs. So this is also obviously gonna come with the original hardware too. So if you guys don't like pegs or if you just wanna save them or you know keep them in a box or something, keep them safe, then the original hardware will come with the scooter anyway, so if you don't like pegs, you can just run it without them. These pegs are super easy to fit. I've modified them perfectly so that you can pretty much just slap them on with just a six mil Allen key. All you gotta do is hold one side whilst you tighten the other. It's literally that simple. Front pegs, done ski. Back pegs, 
Let's get onto that. Grab the gesso wheel, shove that in there. Oh my gosh, this is gonna look so sick. Let me tell you this real quick. This modification is extremely hard to achieve doing it yourself, so just be wary of that. But I'm gonna put it together perfectly for you, okay? Just so you know. Oh, it looks so good. Wee dog it. Looks so good. Bar time. I need to put the grips on, so I'm just gonna do that magically right now. All right, added grips, feeling. I didn't, no, it's fine. Grips are looking amazing. I love added grips. I also love ethic grips, but these kind of just come a little bit more worn in type feeling. So I just decided to go with these and I love the carbon fades. They just look amazing. So I'm just gonna slap these in here. All these are loose, man. What's going on? They're all loose. I'm gonna do it down here. <sighs> Dude, this thing is loud. Bars are in. They are perfectly straight. I'm gonna tighten this bad boy, and then we're done. I'm kind of second guessing myself on the headset spaces. I'm wondering if they should be black. Should they be black? They gotta be black. I'm sorry. They have to be. I tell you what, I'm gonna take care of this myself. I'll see you guys in a second. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Scoot Review. Oh, wait, my bad. I totally just took your intro. Just kidding, guys, we are back. This scoot is just the bomb, okay? This t-shirt, I don't know. It, it's it's pretty loud, not gonna lie. Got it at a golfing store. And uh, yeah, I'm just trying to look fresh on the course, but if you guys wanna look fresh on the skate park, then you need this scooter, dude. So the day I bought this shirt, I think I was FaceTiming you or something. We were calling each other and I was like, dude, check out this shirt. He mentioned the build and I was like, dude, what if I made a build that matched this, this stupid loud t-shirt? Not gonna lie to you, didn't think it was gonna work. But here we are and I gotta say, it definitely worked. I think the two colored wheels looks awesome. I, uh, the ridden pegs, some of you guys may be wondering like why did he throw pegs that he already rode on it? It's just a real special touch. Like if you guys are a fan of mine and you really like the scooter, then I wanted you to like, I wanted you to have something from me as well. Like it's not just the fact that I built it with parts that I personally would ride, is that there's literally parts that I have ridden on it. And I think that's like, that's like really special and they're really good pegs too. And there's also a really special uh, surprise hidden inside this, which you will only find once you buy it. Bro, you already know this is dialed, dude. It's, it's SB. Do you know? It, it's SB? Yeah. It's super badass. Yeah. <laughs> Sick. Oh yeah, you know it. This is gonna be a hard one. We say it every time, voting wise. This, this is gonna be a hard one because the three scooters are so different. We try our best, you know, give the variety in these custom build offs, but these three are, I mean, what can I say? You guys know the Buddha crew. You guys have got my back, I'm sure. You gotta vote for me, guys. Just look at this thing. It's just so sick. Tune in tomorrow to check out voting. Uh, that's where you'll be able to vote for whoever scooter between the three that you like the most, whether it's Clayton, Will, or Brad. That has been day three of this custom build. We'll see you guys tomorrow for voting and make sure you guys are voting for the scooter that you like the most, not the person you like the most. All right. Boom gang.